Hi guys, Mr. Talbot here for you today. Uh, kind of one of the of our people that are home on Monday or Tuesday this week, some guidance on what they should be doing. Uh, normally we're going to be doing project work when we're all together, but kind of where we're at in the calendar, we need you to do this one checkpoint while you're at home Monday or Tuesday. That's going to get us in a really good spot uh, for the rest of the project. So going to encourage you if you haven't, because this is going to help, is if you want to go ahead, go to our class home document, you see the link up there. There is a practice Google form uh, over one of the enlightenment thinkers we're going to be doing today in this checkpoint. The advantage of the Google form is you can check your score right away afterwards. You're going to get immediate feedback to know, do you have the right information about this person? So really, really important to do that first. In fact, I'd pause this video. I would go and do that. And then I would come back once I'd finished and got on my score. So when you're ready to begin this project, so we're done with the beliefs and practices project. Um, and we're going to be going into this Ideas That Change the World project. So you're going to need to click on the next one over. Um, great time to remind you, according to the blue line of happiness and joy, that you should be done with two of our PFAs already. Um, so kind of the idea of PFAs is that you have a groundwork of information about the Enlightenment already as we go into this project. So when you finish up checkpoint one, if either one of these first two power focus areas are red, again, great opportunity to work on that. Once you're into our Ideas to Change the World PF, or sorry, project, you're going to be opening up Checkpoint 1, Understanding Enlightenment Thinkers. Eventually what we're going to be doing is kind of designing a school based on Enlightenment philosophies. We need you to know some of these Enlightenment philosophies to design a good school. So that's kind of going to be what Checkpoint 1 is. So once you're into this uh, Checkpoint, you're going to open up the uh, left-right arrow thing here. There's some other stuff below it, but for this assignment, you hopefully aren't going to need it. So you should be getting to a screen like uh, I'm at now. Go ahead and do that, pause the video until you've done that, and then come back. Um, and when you're back and your screen looks like this, uh, you're gonna have a few options for how you wanna go about it. But it's important that we kind of um, know what we're gonna be looking for. So we're gonna be looking at four different philosophers. One of them is Montesquieu, who you already read about in that Google form and got some feedback on. Uh, the other three, we're gonna check out in a second. When you, we see these uh, documents, a really great strategy is going to be to open them in Adobe Reader so you can use a lot of the different features that they have. And we're going to talk about that at the end of this video. So for all four of them, we're going to kind of be looking for this and they have different opinions on different things. And that's what's going to kind of make each of your schools unique. But you want to be looking at what do they believe about human rights and what do they believe about the role of government. And so in this middle left column, what you're going to be doing is kind of key vocab terms and things that stand out to you. We're going to show you how to cue in on a few of those. Then you're going to pick out at least two quotes from each of the sources. You can copy and paste it right in there, but when you do that, make sure you're putting it into quotation marks. Then you're going to explain to me what it means in your own words. So be looking up things if you need to. That's kind of the process we're going to go through. So to get to the readings, you're going to click on these left on the names. Each of the names is going to be a link to a PDF file. Uh, within each of the PDFs, um, there's two pages, there's more than one page. All you're going to be using is the first page. I want to emphasize that we're only using the first page. These are kind of like teacher worksheet things. You, we just need the reading part of it. So great thing to take advantage of these is the different text features that they have. So when you're seeing terms that are in bold or headings, those are great things that can go into that middle left column. And then within portions of the paragraph, you might pick out a sentence or even maybe just part of a sentence to be one of your quotes that you're going to paste in there. I want you to get at least two different ideas about government um, from each Enlightenment thinker. That's where we have kind of the two quotes. And so if you think about it, by the end of this, you're going to have at least eight different ideas of government, which is going to help you kind of build your school later on. Again, taking advantage of the text features that we got bolded terms, we've got kind of little side tables. Those are things that should help you fill up that middle left column. Don't need to get every single thing. Get two or three of them, then get some quotes, and then explain in your words. If you're struggling to explain in your words, maybe pick a different idea of government or a different idea of human rights to go with. So that's kind of the assignment, guys. Um, when you're done, you're going to go ahead and request feedback. If you want to hang on, I'm going to kind of show you how to go about using the Adobe features that I think are really handy if you need it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is instead of doing this in Chrome, we're going to need to get it into Adobe. To do that, you're going to click on this down arrow, the download arrow, um, which kind of hover your mouse over and you'll get to it when you're on it. 
Once you've downloaded it, you can open it up. Usually just by clicking on it, it'll kind of pop up on the bottom of your bar, but or you'll save it. We get it into Adobe. Once you're in Adobe, uh, some great features. It's got an annotating feature. It's got a highlighting feature that you can use that's kind of circled in red up in the top right here. But what I really like is the text to speech feature. If that's something that you like, um, what you'll do is go to view, read out loud, then all the different tools are going to kind of pop up for you. So hopefully this has been helpful, guys. That's kind of our task for today. Um, so we definitely want to finish up checkpoint one and submit it for feedback. Finish up those first two power focus areas if you haven't already. And then if you're done with that, go back to the previous project. Make sure you've got all that submitted and you're good to go. Have a tremendous Monday or Tuesday, and we'll see you back at school on one of the other days of the week.